Weird, but it was a dramatic scene earlier. This is video from Westerly, where a fast moving storm dumped lots of hail in South County. And Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca joining us now. Those are not small no. hail. No, that's not pea sized hail. That was uh, almost like golf ball sized hail in parts of it was Westerly, um, Esquamic, and Mystic, Connecticut. Very localized. Not every neighborhood had that, but boy, these storms were quite impactful nonetheless. Downpours and lightning were quiet for now. In fact, really, most of the night is quiet. There is one. Uh, isolated thunderstorm up in Worcester that's dropping to the south. Northern part of the state may see it, but that big complex of severe weather that came through, that is long gone. The streets of Providence are dry under partly cloudy skies. Of course, that rain just, you know, saturating the atmosphere, making it even more humid, and this may lead to a little fog uh, during the overnight hours. But no fog in Newport. In fact, visibility is pretty good, and it's quiet. You had your share of some storms and some downpours in Newport as well. So our threat tracker overnight is back to green. It's low. We're looking good for both Friday and Saturday. We don't, we don't have any storms. Of all things, now for Friday, it's a nice day. We've got hazy sunshine. It's warm. It's dry. Wildfire smoke tomorrow. It's not near the ground. We don't have any wildfires locally. This is from smoke uh, from Canada. But the moving through, and it's in the upper part of the atmosphere, so it's way up. It's not near the ground. But it does cause the sun to have the, kind of that hazy, milky appearance to it. That's why we're forecasting um, hazy sun rather than clean sunshine tomorrow. But it's a, it's a decent day to get outdoors, and Saturday uh, still looks dry. That first complex of severe weather is offshore, continues to pull away. There's one lonely, kind of isolated thunderstorm right here in Worcester, Mass, that's dropping to the south, and that may impact a northern Rhode Island about an hour from now. It's not a severe storm, but it is a, a thunder shower nonetheless. Better organized, unfortunately, on Hurricane Ernesto, Bahamas, Florida, East Coast, right in here. Here's a close up look, and you can see the pinwheel shape to the uh, satellite. This is uh, the structure is better organized. An, an eye is trying to form. You can see that tight circulation around the center of the storm. Latest from the Hurricane Center with winds now at 90 miles per hour moving north at 13. Expected to intensify even more, making a close pass to Bermuda by now. This is Friday night, pre dawn Saturday as a Category 2 hurricane. This is what the, what the future radar would look like around the storm as it continues to pass near or over Bermuda by uh, Saturday morning, Saturday. Saturday afternoon. Here's southern New England. Now the storm passes well offshore. And while it does make its closest pass to New England by Sunday 2 o'clock, close meaning like 600 miles away, it is well offshore and it pulls away. So obviously we don't get rain and wind from it. But it's close enough to throw back ocean energy and swells towards our coastline starting Friday night and especially over the weekend and especially on Sunday. But even Saturday, rough surf, dangerous rip currents. I do expect scenes like this along the coastline, both Saturday and Sunday stay off the rocks, stay off the jetties, dangerous rip currents and increasing surf. And with the weather trending drier this weekend, you know, the beaches may be busy, so you have to be very careful as far as going in the water. All right, tomorrow morning could be a touch of patchy fog at sunrise. Otherwise, we're calling it hazy sunshine. It's not a deep blue sky. It's got kind of a milky appearance to it. But as far as it being warm and dry and getting outdoors, it looks good. Temperatures topping out in the uh, lower 80s. We'll keep the dry weather into tomorrow evening and tomorrow night. Beaches, hazy sun after some early morning fog. It's a decent beach day. Air temperature in the upper 70s. Water temp in the middle 70s. And these water not dangerous yet, but it will start to get that way as we get towards the weekend. Bay forecast northeast breeze turning southeast at 5 to 10. All right, seven day forecast hazy sunshine, warm and dry for your Friday. A mix of clouds and sunshine uh, staying dry on Saturday with a temperature of 82. And the good news of all of this is that we're going to keep the showers out of the forecast during the daylight hours of Sunday. Just sun to increasing clouds on Sunday, but staying dry for outdoor activities. We'll bring in some showers later Sunday night and especially Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday of next week. I'm sure you don't mind that little shift and change. That's two weekends in a row where the rain's like, you know what? I'll give them their weekends. Uh, Washington County Fair started already and, and now through the weekend weather looking good for that and uh, not bad for tomorrow. Just kind of hazy sun. Love when you have good news. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Coming up next in sports, the Red Sox begin.